Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic, and I'm going to show you how to make a folder for B6 size traveler's notebook. It's kind of a pocket using two envelopes. So this is my prototype. I shared a time lapse video on my Instagram um, feed of how I made this. It's not quite the way I wanted it to be. I, I pretty much chose the wrong type of paper but as you can see it has a pocket here and then it has two pockets on the inside and I think these pockets are too deep they, they would be too difficult to get in and out of um, with this in your traveler's notebook so I'm going to on the next one I make which I'm going to make now I'm going to make the pocket a little bit shorter and I think that should do it okay so but this is what we're going for now this is I made this with scrapbook paper that I turned into envelopes but you can also do something very similar with envelopes so I have these scalloped envelopes from uh, Joanne the Miss Sparkle & Co line and they happen to be five by seven so I'm just going to take two of these put this away so if you have envelopes already or have access to them, then you can do it this way. Basically what you do is tuck one flap into the other envelope like this. And that's it. Um, you add your adhesive. And this is uh, fairly common in the paper crafting community. You can make a whole book just using envelopes. You can decorate this, embellish it however you want but that's the basics of it this back flap you could glue down the sides and then you would have an additional pocket so for instance if these two were glued down then I would have a pocket here you could also tuck this in and this creates a little more bulk you could actually you could cut this off but you can also tuck it in like this And then slide this in. This is where I'm saying it creates a little bulk because you have two flaps in one envelope. But and then there you have it. So you would glue this down, this flap into this one. Okay. Let's take that out. There's so many different things you can do. I mean, it's an envelope, so what you would do is add your adhesive to the back of this and tuck it in. I'm going to go ahead and do this one just to show you. So I'm going to add the adhesive on the edge where the fold is on the flap. So I'm just going to run two lines of tape there just to make sure that it adheres properly then I'm going to carefully tuck this in. The reason I don't just put glue all over is because it will make it difficult to tuck it in because your glue would be getting stuck to the envelope. So we put it on the outer edge because that's the main place where we want the uh, envelopes to attach. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. There's that. Now I'm just going to fold this over burnish that with my own folder I hate that I wrinkled it up a little bit but there you have it and I'm gonna I'm not gonna glue it down now but what I would do is take a little bit of um, three in one or whatever liquid glue you choose and just add a little bead along the edge of each of these scallops because I'd want my main scallop open so that I can stick whatever I want into it and use it as a pocket. The reason I'm not going to glue it down is because if I want to decorate this, I might want to decorate this pocket too. And that way this leaves the pocket open so that I can trace around it and get this particular shape if I cover this with another piece of scrapbook paper. And when I do decorate these, I'll come back and show how I do it. But for now, we're just doing the basic framework of how to put it together. So this is one with the flap open. Also, remember, you can trim this off if you don't want it. 
here is another version that I did where I actually tucked the flap in. So I didn't cut it off, I tucked it in and then glued it together. So I have both of these. And again, you have a pocket where you can store stickers, notes, papers, whatever, receipts in your traveler's notebook and both of these. Let's take this one out for now. Fit in here. Like that. And you can wrap it around and insert depending on the size. Okay. So that is the easiest way is if you already have envelopes to do it. Okay. But we're going to make our own envelope and put one together like this. I've already picked out my paper, so I'm going to use this. Let's move this out of the way. And it has stripes in the background, but it doesn't really matter to me which direction they go. But if you're using a paper that has a specific direction, you need to take that into account when you are trimming your paper. So to make this B6 folder, I'm going to make it a little bit wider than specifically 5x7 in case I want to wrap it around another insert. So I'm going to trim this down to 9 by 11. So this is the result of the 9 side. So this is 7 inches. So that means I had an additional inch on either end. So if you have a specific design orientation that you need, keep in mind, the 9 side is going to be the face of your folder or envelope. Okay. So I'm going to cut at 9. And then I'm going to cut the other side at 11. Okay. So that's it for that. I'm going to take my scoreboard. You can do this with your paper trimmer um, or just measure and use a ruler and do it. But for each of these, you need two sheets. And I don't know if I mentioned that, but you need two sheets because you're making two envelopes. So on the 9 inch side, with the 9 inch side at the top of your scoreboard, you're going to score at 1 inch and 8 inches. So you're going to turn and score at 3 and a half and 8 and 3 quarters. So 3 and a half and 8 and 3 quarters. Okay. Do the next one, make sure we have it turned right with the 11 inch side at the top. So three and a half and eight and three quarters. Oh, and then I didn't do the one inch. So one inch and eight inch. Okay, so you should have nine blocks when you look at where your score marks are. So now I'm just going to fold these. On all my scores I'm going to fold my one inch sides. This will be the bottom of the envelope. If it was an actual envelope and this would be the top. Okay. Fold all your score lines. So basically we have the beginnings of two envelopes. Now to actually put our envelope together, this is the actual pocket area. Everything is going to stay intact here. But the back of the envelope and the top flap, we need to trim off the one inch sides. So this stays intact. We trim off the back piece on the, each side. and the top of the envelope or the top flap. So I'm going to use these scissors. I think I have more control um, with these than I do with the big ones. So I'm just going to cut 
from the top flap one inch down the score line and we're going to go all the way down to the pocket part of the envelope and then we're going to cut at an, a slight angle we're going to miter it so that we won't have a lot of bulk and we're going to do the same thing for the other end of that tab so now we have a one inch tab on the pocket part of our envelope so basically it would go like this and you would glue that tab down to make the pocket so we're going to do the same thing on the other side I'm going to start from the pocket area I'm going to miter my corner let's do this one too while we're down here and then I'm going to cut right up all the way to the top flap right down the side let's clean that up <laughs> right down the score line as straight as you can do it and the score line should serve as a pretty good guide okay so this is what you should end up with once you fold everything together okay these are the pieces that we cut off i'm going to do the same thing for this one this is our pocket area this is our top flap so we're going to cut off the back sides and the top flap sides i'm going to miter our pocket tabs so miter let me fold this a little more so i can see where the score line is i'm going to come in at an angle and then we're going to go up 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 start at the top because it's easier for me to see it this way and go all the way up okay so now we have the makings of two very simple envelopes So before, instead of gluing down these, the pockets first, we're going to put the two flaps together first. So this one, I do want to end up with a pocket on the back. So I'm not going to trim one of the flaps off. I'm going to keep both of them. So what I do is line them both up like this. So you're going to end up with one long piece. The reason why in this case, I didn't just cut one long piece and do the tabs on the side is because... I don't have paper that's long enough. You can't do that with a 12 by 12 for and make a B6 folder. So I'm gonna put these, hold that together like that. And then I'm just gonna take my tape runner and put my adhesive on. And then I'm gonna make sure everything is lined up and glue that down so we have one big piece okay then i can easily take my tape runner and close my pockets okay and then we just do the other side And you can use whatever glue again i'm just using the tape runner because it's fast and easy for this so you have your inside pockets ready to go like so and let's burnish and make sure everything 
is sealed down. Now for this back pocket, I suggest a liquid glue. Okay, so I'll be using three in one. And what you do is on either end of this flap, you just run a small bead of glue along the edge. So just come on three in one. Just run a small bead of glue down the side on either end or on both ends <laughs> and fold it over press it down but now we have not only this pocket and this pocket but we also have this little tuck spot here on the back and you can take a little circle punch and you probably should do this before you close it up and punch that out and you can do that to make it you know more finished more polished uh, let me see if I can find my circle punch and do it real quick just to show you so this is a one and a half inch circle punch um, and I'm gonna mark just to make sure I have it in the center because if I don't do it in the center it's gonna drive me crazy so let me just mark it so I'll know where I am. And then they can be the same on both sides. Okay. So I'm just going to open this up. And again, it's probably best to do this before you glue everything together. And decide where I'm going to line this up at. Okay. And then to the other side. Lining it up with the little plastic tabs. Okay. So there. Now it's nice and finished. And let's score everything down again. Now, really, basically, this is finished. If you want to go the extra mile, um, you can take your hole puncher and right on the fold in the center, I want to just punch like a half a circle there. And this helps relieve some of the pressure when you put um, the folder on your string in your traveler's notebook. So I'm just going to do a little notch see there and this will help um your folder hold up a little longer your envelope folder okay so this is completely finished now let's pop it in see what it looks like um, i'm going to use it to cover this insert in the center now remember i made this one a little longer about a quarter of an inch on either side to allow for it wrapping around this insert. Okay, so that worked out perfectly. Okay. So we have this, we have room to store things in on the inside here, on the inside here, and back here. You can also decorate the front for instance, like I have these journaling cards from the jewel box. I could put that on the front of this. You don't want to put too much and make it bulky, but you can decorate with washi tape, stickers, whatever the case might be. My paper is pretty decorative, so I wouldn't decorate on it in particular. But if I use a you know more plain paper, then I would decorate. Also, if you use double-sided paper, you won't have this white area on the inside. You could also cover it before you close your flaps but I'm just showing you the basics the bare bones simple way to do it and then you can embellish and make it your own from there so that's it on how to make your own envelope folder for a b6 size traveler's notebook if you would like to learn how to make folders for other size traveler's notebooks let me know down in the comments and also make sure you let me know what sizes you'd be interested in also let me know 
if you would like to find out how I made this folder using two envelopes and the envelope punch board. So this is another prototype. Um, but if you would like to learn how to make this one, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic. For exclusive content and digital downloads, visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for live craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at ScrapCraftTastic. Visit my website and shop at ScrapCraftTastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!